Ranger Inks, uh, Botanical, uh, Black Diamond, Jungle Green, Black Diamond, Emerald Green, and Black Diamond, Silver Pearl. Now these colors here are all in a uh, Total Boat. Total Boat actually sells those, so uh, Total Boat link is in the in the description below. If you want some of those, you got lots of colors. Well, that's green. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's going to be, so I think I'm going to feed it some resin. I'll mix up a little bit, dump it down that hole. Leave it alone before I uh, ah, we'll open it. Got to love that mold release, huh? Look at that. Almost what I wanted. Uh, so that is a big hole in there. So what I'm going to do is... I think that's one. He <laughs> yeah, just let the air out. <laughs> that's funny. And I believe that's how we get the air down in there like that. Because you compress it, and then as a as it cools off, it, it lets it out. <laughs> Yeah, you heard that, right? Yes. Okay. Well, here's what it is. So, I think I'm going to chew it. You even hit nothing but right there. All right, before we get going too far, <laughs> that's a silver maple with a little piece, little piece of burl in it. I didn't know it was there until I pulled the bark off. Uh, I'm gonna try to go backwards with this so I have resin, big resin hole-ish looking thing and a wood rim instead of a resin rim. But, uh, we'll see how that goes here. <laughs> so, but that was the, the plan for doing it the way I did it. I just mixed some to pour it on the top and then I leveled it off, uh, off camera, cause it's just a, I'm gonna turn it away anyway. So uh, right, right, currently right here, I'm just gonna try to establish where we're going and try to get this balanced a little bit better, which I doubt I'm gonna be able to do with a big wad of resin on this side.
that's not too bad. It's not really what I want. There's a hole right there. I have to fix that. Uh, I didn't really want this hard line. I was hoping that I'd get rid of it. And I could probably turn it away. But I think I'm going to leave it. Okay, so uh, we're going to sand 80 to uh, 800 probably. Get into the abrasive paste. And I'm not sure how to finish it. Probably with just wax. Um, let's get that fixed right there. There you go. All right, so I'm going to uh, get this flipped over. We'll start on the other side. <laughs> All right. Well, at least that stayed together. Uh, I knew it would because we we're into the into the wood down there. So the, the fill was only to level this out because it was all kinds of wonky. So we're gonna drill a hole in that. That way, I don't throw it across the shop like I did last week's project. Instead of doing it with mold release on it. What was that dummy thinking? Pour resin on top of mold release and expect it to stay there. <laughs> Pops right off just like that. <laughs> I'm done with the shrapnel coming at me so let me sharpen that and we'll get back to this uh, I don't like what I feel out here not sure how to go about fixing that it feels like it just separated all the way around I, just, I, I don't I don't know
Okay, so I keep hearing this thing crack. Now you can see the dust right here. So it's cracked all the way around and all the way up to right about here. So I'm going to try to put some thin CA glue in it before I turn too much more on the inside. I'm going to have to refinish the outside, but hopefully what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll back off the tension on the, on the chuck after I get some glue down in it. And hopefully, I don't have a whole lot of this left, but hopefully that, uh, so start bond, super thin, hopefully it'll go down in here and do what I need it to do. And then, uh, what did I say, back the tension off, huh? Sounded like it went back where it needed to be. Hope so, anyways. Okie dokie, I have to flip this around. Huh, what's that? Alright, let's get that out of there. Alright, let's try that again. Now I need to flip this around because apparently I put too much force on the jaws and I cracked this apart. So I filled it with CA glue. Off camera. Maybe. I don't remember what I did. So I filled it with CA glue and I have to now clean the bottom, so I have to put the cold jaws on. And I record that, maybe, I don't know. So anyways, let me get this off of here. <laughs> okay, so the CA glue, it, it's stuck, so you see what I gotta clean up and finish here. Let me get this turned around. So yeah, see I gotta get all this cleaned back up again and then clean this up. <sighs> but ain't one thing, it's something else. This side looks good. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute since I've done this. I don't remember how to do it. I'd put the date in, but this is an awful year. I ain't doing it. <laughs> Alright, let's get over to the sticker board. 
no stickers this week, so I think we're going to go with this guy right here. Jordan Woodworks. So I'll put a, put a link up for Bruce's channel in the corner. Go over and check out Bruce. He does some really nice stuff, actually. Really nice stuff. So uh, go over and show him some love. And yeah, let's let, let, let's talk about this thing. This thing. <laughs> All right. So I'm not I'm not ecstatically happy about it. It is pretty, but I'm like, hey, I had issues, you know, like we do all the time. And I know, quit beating myself up, but you know, nothing ever goes right. <laughs> so I'm going to assume that I, you know, to keep it from coming out of the chuck like the other one did. I over tightened it and expanded it apart. Now I think that also comes or contributed to it was that I didn't get all of the bark off. There was like layers of it, this silver maple, and I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it all off, and I think it just didn't stick to it, or or it peeled that off. But I I, I tried to fix it. So it's a uh, silver ambrosia maple. It was given to me by a friend of mine. Um, keep telling him hey find me these big wart looking things and you know inadvertently he gave me a, a little one on here not like I said I couldn't see it till I pulled the bark off but this is ambrosia maple here ambrosia in it now I fixed this hole and because I had to clean it up again I didn't notice that mm, there it is again see see what I'm saying and then in, in the green and like I didn't care for this hard line like right there and I didn't intend to leave it. But I left it anyway. Yeah. Is what it is, right? <laughs> I don't even know. I, I don't even know. <laughs> so I'll put some pictures up at the end. That way, at the end. Uh, go check out Jordan Woodworks. Give him a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like his channel. And then uh, y'all have a nice weekend. And we'll see you next week.